Sex trafficking couple exploited foster care loophole, officials say. A Bronx couple used foster care to exploit vulnerable young women, prosecutors, and a woman who had been placed in their home said. Last month, the Mitchells were charged with sex trafficking eight young women after authorities discovered the couple used the foster care system as a pipeline for prostitution, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said. Their arrest came more than a year after one of the young women reported that Mr. Mitchell was in fact living in his wife's Bryant Avenue apartment. She had found him on the state sex offender registry, where he listed the address as his residence, she said in an interview. The State Office of Children and Family Services said in a statement that officials were deeply troubled with the allegations and were examining how the city's child welfare agency, the Administration for Children's Services, exercised its oversight of the foster care agency involved. Assemblyman Andrew Hevesy, the chairman of the Committee on Children and Families, said underfunding has driven the child welfare system into crisis. The New York City Police Department, which is responsible for monitoring sex offenders in the city who are not otherwise under supervision, said its sex offender monitoring unit had no way of knowing that Mr. Mitchell's address was a foster home. The unit, which has 14 officers overseeing more than 9,600 registered offenders, does not have a list of foster homes, and officers do not conduct home visits unless an offender fails to meet registration requirements, the police said.